Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Um. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Damn Ace Combat. Ace Combat Damn. Combat Damn. Damn Bet. Damn it. Ace damn it. <laughs> Ace damn it. <laughs> well, God damned it. God damn it. XCOM didn't work. Yeah, uh, it, we, like, no fault of our own. Um, the game just fucking crashed itself into oblivion. And here's the thing. Um, if you really wanted to see uh, a legitimate full playthrough on the third time of us trying <laughs> XCOM 2, <laughs> you, you let us know in the comments because we're moving on. <laughs> All right? So... Um, yeah, like, I, I came over and I was watching him play, uh, some Ace Combat 7. Yes. And, um, he was chopping through it in his F-22 and F-35s and shit, mm -hmm. and it looked really fucking dope. So I'm like, I went out on that, and I need some therapy after XCOM failed on me. So we're starting a hard run-through of, um, Ace Combat 7. Yes, uh, Jeff is a Ace Combat veteran. Yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, not. Mm -hmm. I uh, this was the first Ace Combat I bought, per your suggestion. Yes. So I, I had to pick it up and I played. And, uh, I, I very much enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, this is a it's a great game. Uh, um, like uh, does it does it remind you of anything? Like, is it a hot take? Have you played uh, Flight Sims in the past? Mm, not since like high school. I think there was a flight simulator where they made us play. But it, it has a, a very much an armored core uh, feel, feel to it as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, turning it down. Yeah, like uh, we've been jonesing for an armored core for a long fucking time. So like this is this is the closest to you know it, the oh hey look at the little parrots. Well, they are parrots. Oh, okay. And you're starting with the phantom. I am, which is unusual. Um, because usually, like, I don't know, it is a, it is a kind of a low-level aircraft. Uh, they were pieces of shit in the Vietnam War. <laughs> so, it's, it's kind of kind of neat. For posterity's sake, sake, he had the choice of picking an F-16, and he chose the F-4 Phantom. I did. Huh. All right. Ooh. Ooh, wow, look at you all can, that real estate. You can see the age. You can see the 80s. Oh my god. You can see the 70s. Oh yeah. You can see the 60s. When did this plane come out? It had to have been 60s, right? I mean, I'm sure I mean it was I'm sure it was a technological marvel for its time. Oh yeah, but totally. I'm surprised he made it off the runway. <laughs> I did hear a bunch of screws clattering against the road, so I wonder if that had anything to do with it. You know what? It's no longer your problem. Yep. It's this guy's problem. Damn. Oh my god. Jeez. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been a longtime fan of Ace Combat, and the controls are pretty much identical to what it was in the PlayStation 2 era, um, which was my introduction to it. Um, I subscribed to, like, Tips and Tricks magazines back in the day when I first got a PlayStation, and... They were talking about like Ace Combat Two and Three on the PlayStation One, and I was like, "Whoa, that looks pretty fucking cool." Because I've always been uh, a nerd for uh, fighter jets. I, I always thought they were super fucking cool. And always wanted to be a fighter pilot when I was when I was a kid, so I could live my fat ass dreams through these things instead. I mean, you might be able to buy an F four Phantom now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like used, fresh off the lot. Well, not fresh off the lot. I got to dust it off a little bit. Kids want to buy a Phantom, never been driven. <laughs> State of the art, I think. I think, I think, uh, I've always loved planes as well. I think every young, every every small young boy uh, likes fighter planes. It's kind of like fire trucks, oh, police yeah. cars, and and tanks. Except way cooler. In planes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to fall out to breathe down. This thing is sluggish. Ooh, baby. All right. I don't know how you do this in first person. Like, fuck a bunch of that. How do you do it? Yeah, I played the third person one. Third person? Yeah. Me and Liza. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh no. The controller died. Your controller died. Oh god, it's so cat. <laughs> I'm like, why is it hanging on that? That's kinda weird. Alright, let's let's give let's this a shot. Alright. Take two. This is a night of nightmares. <laughs> this really is first XCOM, now this. Oh look, there's a little smiley face on its butt. Oh, it's like, yeah. hey, I'm here to help. <laughs> Now, all right, now I get it. Now I know why you play in third person. So now see. I can't unsee the smiley face. <laughs> I'm on an F4 Phantom. <laughs> let's go bomb the... No, let's go bomb these rice farmers. <laughs> It'll be fun. Murder's cool. So, this is interesting. Uh, the F4 Phantom wasn't built with a gun pod, um, which is why they had, like, like or, or, or a gun uh, on it. Uh, they would have to strap a gun pod underneath it. Um, but here, in Fantasyland, they just put it on the front, I guess? Maybe it's modified? Maybe it's modified. It's probably modified. So that, that's, the, that's his cannon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. But, like, in, yeah, like, like in, in actuality, like, it wasn't initially, uh, built for the gun pod. The fuck is over here? Like, I, I would think, because they didn't think we'd ever have a use for the gun... But, oh yeah, like but we did because mm -hmm. of Russia. Yeah, because they were they were they were so um, confident that missiles were like the the future, which in a way it was eventually. Like when missiles got long range and advanced enough. But the problem being, ooh, I, I used two of those unnecessarily. The problem being, uh, the Vietnam War era uh, technology was like really shit. So like they would like lose locks in like clouds and like cloud cover and shit like that, or like accidentally lock onto a heat signature like on the ground like on the other side of the like fucking... some, some dude's EC bake oven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you Americans. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, like that's why um, they hated us so much. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's just any heat source at all. It's like God damn it, it's so cold. God damn. It's awful. These phantom just come out of nowhere and oh yeah because like uh they, they they were still like running with like um f-105s and i think f-5s or, or something like that like they had like a designated like oh this is our dogfighter or something but i don't know yeah the one with the with the the, no, the nose of the hole in it right what was that called oh you're thinking of um the saber that's a korean war i am thinking of the saber which is way older and Presumably shittier than this. Fucking DLC, bro. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure it's arguable that, like, it's not as shitty because it probably did, like, it had a pretty good kill record against the MiGs. Unlike this thing. Also, there's a missile coming. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm gonna do this. Ooh, face of maneuver. Still hits you. Yeah, really. Big oh, no big deal. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep, shabams. Blammo. Dude, brown is hot as fuck. Brownie? Yeah. Oh, uh, portrait in the top right? Yeah. I mean, you're all over here playing the game. I'm over here looking at... Oh, Knocker. Knocker and Brownie. <laughs> Knocker's kind of got a Bradley Cooper thing going on. How do you how do you get that name in, 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 this, in this situation? He's a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> We're gonna call you Knocker from now on. Maybe he has really big tits. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's so popular. Yeah, in the like, army. yeah, the portrait's only from like the nips up. Uh -huh. Like if it panned down a little bit, then we'd see, we'd see it all. Brownie though, flat as a board. Oh yeah, it's a shame. Damn shame. Get it, damn. Damn shame. Welcome to our next playthrough. That's what, that's what this damn, video is called. Damn shame. Damn shame. Where we, where we play Never Have I Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to Damn Shame. And thus begins the first episode that I like vehemently break into your house to delete. <laughs> the door's unlocked. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you kick the door in, dude? We, we gotta get rid of Damn Shame. I can never live on. You're you're living the Japanese dream. You gotta fucking stop this. Oh man, I got it. Okay, okay. It's the, it's the only time I get to feel. <laughs> Hope you got airbags. <laughs> That's right. Nice little flyer. Are you gonna land? 
Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm bringing it. Permission in, to buzz the tower. <laughs> Permission denied. Permission denied. What's this aircraft carrier doing here? Don't we know? We already have a runway. <laughs> Who hurt you, aircraft carrier? Who hurt you? Why are you here? Those guys you just bombed. Oh, okay. I thought he was like on the earth. I oh, thought, I oh, thought like he had a, beached himself. This is a terrible place to put an aircraft carrier. Uh, it's right next to a runway. He's just hanging out. Yeah. Warning, 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 warning. What are you doing? Stop it. Hey, have you played this game before? <laughs> I played the original Ace Combats. <laughs> Definitely. I, sh I struggled to take off. Okay, just to put this in perspective. <laughs> just, just, just put the throttle on. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God. My God. Yeah, um... Ace Combat 4 uh, was the first one I played. Ace Combat 5, as soon as it released, I was on it. Ace Combat 0, as soon as it was released, I was on it. And I love those fucking games. Brilliant idea to, like, what if we take these modernized jets and um, we, uh, we throw them into fantastical sci-fi uh, scenarios, like doing trench runs and, like, going up against, like, crazy-ass super weapons, like, it was really interesting. I think Ace Combat 5 was probably my favorite. From just the storyline, um, it just felt big and epic and uh, grandiose. And I would love to play that too. Yeah, man, sure. Mm -hmm. I, the story in this is weird and convoluted in Japanese. A little bit. And I skipped through most of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're watching for the story... Uh, this ain't it, Chief. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. We basically gotta destroy everything leading up to this runway. And uh, that's uh, what we're gonna do. Now, um, the fucking F4 is terrible. So we're gonna see, we're gonna peek into this aircraft uh, tree to see uh, if we can get something a little bit more appropriate, which uh, we can't afford yet. Um, Just great. barely. Just. Just great. Yeah, um, this uh, aircraft uh, tree thing is kind of... It was it was new to me, um, but uh, I had heard of aircraft... Uh, or <laughs> aircraft. Ace Combat Infinity, which was like a free-to-play PlayStation 3 exclusive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and uh, it, it had a similar lock-on... Uh, like, like, unlocking mechanism like this, where you have to develop parts in, in a tree in order to get to the goods. Um, what I am a little disappointed in, like, in, I don't know, like, I, I guess this really can't be helped, is that it pretty much corrals you into, like, are you going to get the end game YF-23, the F-22, or the Su-57? It's it's one of those three, and it's like, ah, uh, like, I wish there was more. I wish, I wish there was more S-class jets, but I honestly don't know what you would have, like, what, what, what could be featured other than, like, fictional jets, like, uh... Morgan or the Falcon from Ace Combat Zero. Should do that. Um, that that Chinese uh, uh, stealth jet, the, the J two, the Y J twenty J twenty. I think so. Yeah, it I was in it was Battlefield. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's right. But this is a Japanese game, so you can't have Chinese stuff in it. I guess so. Like um, yeah, like uh, what was it? Yeah, like, I, I guess that's the situation. It's like a matter of like what they have the rights to feature. And also, I don't know, maybe these three are the only games in town. It's like Sukhoi, Lockheed, and Northrop Grumman. And that's that's pretty much it for air superiority. Fuck it, put it in. It's mm -hmm. all DLC. There's got to be like a French or Eurofighter equivalent that, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not aware of. If anybody's in EU and knows of the fucking pinnacle of <laughs> air avionics, oh, yeah. let us know so we can Google it. Yeah, and it probably has a Delta ring because they love that, apparently. <laughs> you guys do. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't get it. Wow, this visibility is like so much better than the F4s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started off um, the F-16, uh, quickly got the F-18, uh, which I rocked. Um, for pretty much the whole thing until I got the F-22. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I played the F-35 a little bit as well. 
but that's pretty much it. That F-18 is the shit. Oh, yeah? I, then, will go a different route. I'm thinking Russian. I, I do I do have the Ace Combat franchise to um, illuminate me as to, uh, or I should say enlighten me as to what the fuck a Sukhoi is, because I had never, ever heard of those before Ace Combat. And they, they, they fucking rule. Like, they look awesome. Apparently, they perform great. I mean, according to video games, I don't know if there's any truth to that. I would imagine they're scary. They're oh, yeah. Scary to fly. Oh, my God. I'm already at 90%. This is on hard mode. Cool, cool, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Ooh, I can't get hit again. Mr. Big Spender over here with the hard mode. All right, you know what? You know what happened? I got, I got cocky. I got cocky. So those fucking uh, Apaches fucking your shit up. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if this will help. <laughs> if seeing it in third person view is going to be helpful or not. Come on, guns. Come on, guns. Come on, guns. Thank you. Bam, bam. This is a lot easier to watch. And also gives me an unfair advantage because I can see shit over my shoulder. Well, now I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing a show. <laughs> oh, I saw it on the radar and it's like I took it right up the ass. Well, time to... Time to not get cocky. Mission two, and I'm already splashed. All right. Time to get serious. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> Bust a wolf. Time to not get cocky. Immediately does stupid shit. <laughs> let's get low, let's get fast. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Get low, get low, get low, get low. low, low. Got some apples, Lou, Lou, Lou. Got some apples, Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> you can have some apples too. Get some apples, Lou, Lou, Lou. Get some apples, Lou, Lou, Lou. Thank you, Butters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some apples, Lou, Lou, Lou. Apples gonna Lou. What? Apples gonna Lou. <laughs> Battlefield, you'd be done for with those telephone poles. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, nope, 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 nope. Yep, that's the one I wanted. All right. The radar vehicles, which you have to kill. Yes, sir. It's going for those TGTs. Those, those tickets. I don't know what that is. There we go. Come out. Come out. Oh, why did I lose that? There we go. Morning. Morning. Yep, yep. Danger. Danger. Oh, oh, ooh, baby. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got cocky. Getting cocky. Gotta stop that. Oh, well, yeah, stop it. Gotta stop it. I'm gonna stop it. I was about to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those taxpayer dollars. All right. Just getting dumb. You're just firing missiles into the. That wasn't me. Into That's the second, Midwest. That second one wasn't me. <laughs> into the Midwest, the <laughs> farmers <laughs> just <laughs> tending to his crops. When all of a sudden, fucking missiles, fucking rabbits show up. Oh my god! I'm getting hit. Did he say rabbits? Yeah. <laughs> oh right, farmers. Okay, <laughs> took me a while. Fucking rabbits. <laughs> He shows up and murders people. Yeah. Like a dick. It's not even better. Right. I mean, he killed that farmer pretty good. <laughs> ah, yes. Wasn't there, isn't there like a running joke that like the farmer in the very beginning of Dragon Ball is like a unit of measurement of like power level? Yeah, because he's got like a power level of like four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> so like an average man is at like power level four. How do we know he was average? Maybe he like... He like trained. Maybe he was like a fucking orange belt in fucking... 
I didn't consider that. <laughs> Neither did Toriyama <laughs> when he fucking wrote that shit. Wow, I messed the shit up. Yeah. I'm so lost. Go. What's the missile? Where's it? It's right behind me. You Pop did it. Popping flares. I need to do something about this. About any of this. Come on. Come on. Give it the guns. Yes, sir. You missed that other one. Yeah, dude. Oh, I thought, thought that was going to be an impact. Panicked. Go. Whoa! What the fuck was that? The fucking Kojima particles or something, <laughs> man. What the hell? And what I've, was that? And I've played this before. I don't remember this at all. What, this mission? I mean, I kind of remember this mission. I remember dying a lot. I, I might put in, like, clips of the other video that me and Bartles did. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, because he did a first impression run, right? Yeah. We are blasted, though. Oh, no. Which might make for good content. Who knows? I feel like you are not prepared. I am not. Maybe I should have picked normal mode. Oh, no. The oh, right God. stick is cancer. If you would like to see Bartles and Baker blasted, just knock on, knock on our door. Yeah, just, open the door. It's unlocked, open, apparently. Open the door. Just come on over. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. You are crazy. Oh, fucking hell. Where are these people? Why am I locked on to something and like five zip codes away? <laughs> Fuck you, truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, just going to work. Yep, going to AutoZone. Country roads. <laughs> take me. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you poor guy. No, I don't want the you're, the, you're the raddest of the skies. Wow. Just, just, just killing fucking... Yeah, yeah, how else do you want to insult me today? You want to call me the Yamcha of the skies next? Is that is that an upgrade? Or... Come on, fucking lawn dart. You're you. Raditz in the skies and the Yamcha in the sheets. Yeah. I'm not talking to you <laughs> the rest of the day. You can talk to the audience. I'm focusing on this. <laughs> So what, I'm, I'm a dead fish in bed? I just lay there in the crater pile, <laughs> like face down and crumpled up and smoldering. <laughs> Don't worry, babe. I'll make sure you get there. A Cyberman hops out of the closet and hugs me and explodes. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just a midget painted green. <laughs> Sorry, little person. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, hey. Oh. Shipping. Oh, no, missed the one on the right. right. No, no, no. Oh, missed the one on the left. Cool. Proving you right that I'm the yacht of the raddits of the sky. <laughs> Fuck those migs. An orange mig comes up from behind and holds me by the wings while a green mig special beam cannons me in the fucking chest. Are your missiles less homing? Yeah, like, these are more, um, they're high speed and long range. Uh, not quite quick on the turns. And also, it's overkill, since he's, uh, these things seem a little fragile. I figured it was, like, just a hard mode thing. M might be, might be a hard mode. Might be the ice party. Ice party, you were safe. There we go. Bam. It's kind of difficult to read some of the HUD against the clouds. That's a little annoying. I'm surprised they don't allow you to have like a different colors for the HUD. Yeah, that'd be great. Kind of like Armored Core. Kind of like Armored Core. Another great game that needs a sequel. We keep talking about it. Maybe, maybe it'll stick one day. The audience is like, "What is Armored Core? What the fuck is that?" And we can't even tell them. Is that like Mech Warrior? <laughs> yeah, it's like Mech Warrior. It's exactly like Mech Warrior, you know. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at you. Oh, got him? You got it. Yeah. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> Victory lap into the ground. Oh, wow, that's a year old reference. I mean, a years old reference. I didn't consider that. I just thought you were having a stroke. You always do, man. Like, like if you want to just say it, if you're concerned about my health, just, just tell me. Because it's always like, are you having a stroke? Are you just wishing that I have a stroke one day? 
No, it's just like all I got in my repertoire of, of you, jokes. Of like, if I say something that you don't understand, it's like, are you having a stroke? Are you, it's like somebody instructed you that like, now pay attention. If they start doing this, you need to ask because it's a matter of life or death. Yeah. And you don't quite remember the criteria. So every time that you think it applies, it's like, well, uh, are you having a stroke as do, you're like reading a note from your... Do you need assistance? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, just fucking eat it, will you? This is one of those games where I like move in my seat. Oh yeah. So I always thought that was dumb when like people playing Mario Kart and stuff and they're like moving, like moving the controller around. And I don't, I don't do that for like Mario Kart and stuff. Oh. But but this game, for whatever reason, I'm like moving and pivoting and turning my head in my seat. I'm oh, like, totally. Nice work, you got to. For the immersion. I have to. It uh, makes you turn harder. Yeah. Wake up, everyone. I did it. <laughs> Shatter all their windows. <laughs> Just <laughs> Sonic booms. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> Every single car alarm goes off. <laughs> Wee. Come on. Oh, it's a golf course. Oh, and it's not a golf course. That's a farm. <laughs> All right. The F-16 uh, newsflash is better than the <laughs> F-4 Phantom 2. <laughs> Weird, right? Oh, uh, no. Who would have guessed? <laughs> the high yo-yo. I used to do that in college. <laughs> I wonder how much different the, uh, the, what's it fucking called? J2? Y2? T2? J20? J20. T2, great movie. <laughs> how much different that is than the normal F-16? I, I agree. Like, um, I don't know. I, I, I wish I knew what I was talking about when it came to jets. Like, like, that, that really is what it comes down to, because it's like, the fanboyisms pretty much stop shallowly at fanboyisms. It's what I read, it's what I hear, it's the documentaries that I watch. And, I don't know, man, for years of my life, there was a fantasy of mine where it's like, fuck yeah, that could be a career path. But it's like, eh, it just didn't happen. And I, I don't quite regret it. I really love what I do. But, man, if the multiverse theory is a thing, pretty goddamn sure there's an alternate reality version of me that is not fat, and is a fire jet pilot. <laughs> I meant the differences in the game. <laughs> but, 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 but yeah, um, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that sound clip saved, but I mean, I can find it. No, that's fine. We could just edit all of that out. <laughs> And if you listen closely, you can hear the exact moment that his little spirits were crushed. Right there. <laughs> ah, Los Canas. In, in scenic Erusia. Over there by Gandar Bay. Ah, yes. Oh, and Axel Bay, uh, which I'm sure is far away from Slash Bay. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the world? That's it. It's Earth. This, the Earth is just this Pangea at Dennis. <laughs> this Pangea continent. Is this the same continent from Monster Hunter? I'm pretty. Fuck <laughs> if I know. I'm just in the future. I'm pretty sure, like, like it's been pretty consistent. Ace Combat Four, Five, and Zero, the Belkin War, all of this shit is in the same timeline and shit. So there's probably some sense to these nations or something. I don't know. But I do like these pre pre sorty layout things. It reminds me a lot of Tie Fighter, and X Wing versus oh, Tie yeah. Fighter. Oh uh, yeah, they're they're really cool. I just wish they actually helped. <laughs> what you think they you think they don't? Well, I would I would wait until the commander guy told me what I needed to do and what I was up against, and then I would just skip it. All right. I'm going the MIG route. Going MIG, okay. Since he went uh, fully American, I will go, comrade. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. It's American. What up? <laughs> you can't get more American than that. Nope. You know? What up? Would you like some McDonald's? Uh, 
That would be very nice, yes. I will squat down and eat your your big neck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna fuck my wife? <laughs> I don't is know she, what else Americans is she, say. Is she is big around as she is tall? <laughs> I don't know what that means, man. Actually, that's... I don't even know where I'm going with that, because it's not even fucking true. <laughs> it's like... Like, Jesus. Remember Tattoo? I remember Tattoo. I thought you were going to say, do you remember tattoos? I'm like, no. I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, I got this one <laughs> hammer and sickle one that I kind of regret. Just <laughs> couple, no. couple more uh, sessions and uh, my tramp stamp will finally be removed. I'm really proud. I'm really, I'm really excited <laughs> for that. You should embrace your tramp stamp. In fact, I keep on trying to tell you to like, you should construct your wardrobe around being able to show off your tramp stamp. <laughs> you wear a shirt that's untucked, but there's a perfect rectangle cut exactly where it'll rest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, I didn't... Uh, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Select parts, just equip everything. Yep, yep, yep. I get the gist. There we go. I didn't need to read that shit anyway. What are they going to tell me that I don't already know? Get the yist. What's with the weird chrome part? I think that's the refueling dick nozzle thing dongle the fuel dongle these, how long do you want these to be an hour how long can we make them however long um maybe after this okay we're going for oh yeah see look it's a little little refuel oh, dongle it is it's a little, little robot arm yeah. oh, oh. No, 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 I want to be immersed. There we go. Yes. Yes. Come to, come to Papa. <laughs> take, take a quick little sippy. Sippy, sippy girl. And then it just, and then it just does it for you anyway. Like, like, if you're, if you're gonna make me air refuel, at least let me commit to it. And take a quick little sippy, yes, drink. Drink, yes. It is good. Good fuel. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. Da. Oh. Thank you, mother nipple. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my Russian. <laughs> da. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's all I know. The great nipple in the sky. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. My really only um, introduction, I, I, you, could even, uh, you can't even call it that, to Russian jets like the MiGs and stuff and the Sukhois was um, Air Force One. Oh yeah, uh, and then Battlefield, uh, mm -hmm. like shortly thereafter. But um, yeah, the Air, Air Force One. Like, I didn't. I was. I was like, what do those other guys fly? Do they have stuff like us? And apparently, they, they do. Oh yeah. I want to see if it can hit perpendicular, and it cannot. Good to know. Air Force One, great film. Yeah, Harrison Ford's finest role. <laughs> it's up there. I'm the. <laughs> I thought you were going to outright shoot that down. No, it's like, up there. Because we literally just got done talking about Indiana Jones. <laughs> as far as acting, you know, like, it's... He doesn't do a lot of acting. Like we were talking about the Indiana Jones, he doesn't. Yeah. But in Air Force One, he acts. He, he does... He says lines, and he does things, and you're like, oh my god, is this a movie? All right. Han Solo and Indiana Jones, he just stands around and smiles and smirks. Yeah. And shoots unarmed men. <laughs> <laughs> and some that are armed. Some you know, of them. He's not a complete monster. <laughs> what are uh, some other fun facts? Do you know about the guy with the sword fight in the first one, Raiders of the Lost Ark? Dysentery. Yeah, okay. Well, but the audience might not know. Oh. If but you didn't know, it, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark... There's a scene where a Arabian-esque swordsman uh, pulls out this big fucking scimitar, does these fancy moves, and in the uh, original uh, script, there was an elaborate fight scene planned with uh, Indiana Jones and his whip and the uh, the swordsman. But uh, Harrison Ford was sick. Apparently, many of them got dysentery because they were filming on location, and. Uh, Ooh. So because he was sick, Harrison Ford didn't want to shoot the fight scene. 
Yeah. And so suggested, hey, can't I just shoot him with my gun? And <laughs> Steven Spielberg said, sure. And that's the part that's in the movie. It's renegade thinking like that that makes you the best. <laughs> it's like that, that scene and the uh, I know in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, yeah. People are like, oh, my God, here's it falls. Anything that can make him do the least <laughs> amount possible. <laughs> his, his greatest accomplishments as an artist are trying to make it easier for himself. Yeah, suggesting, <laughs> suggesting things that makes him not act like... What if for this scene I uh, I just stayed in the chair? Well, Harry, I, you know I didn't think about that, but sure. I huh. mean, think no, I really, I really, I really think it's gonna it'll work better if I, if I just stay <laughs> seating, sitting. Not right. And little Steven Spielberg with his like fourteen scarves is like, well, you know, sure. Look how he talks. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's a really good idea. That's George Lucas, but oh. topical. Oh. <laughs> you mean they're not the same, they are same not people? The, it's, it's, it's like Steven Spielberg goes home at the end of the day and puts on his fat suit and then sits in front of a computer and <laughs> bangs out another Star Wars movie. <laughs> but then the the sun comes up and he he, the, oh. the, he turns, into, <laughs> turns into Steven Spielberg. Oh my! What have I done? <laughs> it's like a, it's like Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> that is, man, that's up there. That's that's some galaxy brain thinking, man. <laughs> We're delving into surrealism. Yeah, really. In this episode of Not Damn Com. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I fucked that up. What, Damn Com? You yeah. didn't fuck anything up. Man. No, the fucking save file. That fucking sucks. Yeah. Well now you get now you get to play this. Once again, like PS PS4 port, man. Like I, I don't I don't get it. No. Why is it such garbage? Don't get it. It's right behind me. Yep. Yep. I took that in the ass. Make it lopsided. <laughs> we'll get you it down. Slow down, 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 slow down. Oh, maybe not, not that much. Too slow. Too slow, too slow. <laughs> Chili dogs, too slow. Oh, oh, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Okay. That's bad. That's super bad. That's the worst. Fuck. Warning, warning. Yeah. No more missiles. I should have done that from the beginning. That way I could like see which way they're coming. <sighs> TGT. They just keep coming. <laughs> oh, I know why they call her Brownie. Figured it out. Yeah? You cracked the code? Mm hmm. Why do they call her Brownie now? Oh, 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 oh. She makes brownies. Like at the base. Oh. It's got nothing to do with her brown eye. It's because of the brownies at the base. That makes sense. I think you cracked the code. Call Tom Hanks. Missed. Can I just, can I just slowly ease my way through the force field? I don't think, I don't, I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, no, I can't even shoot it. That's a thing. It's technology that exists. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> now we gotta just kill all these fucking things. Goddamn. Uh, Stealth. Eddies. Eddie's? That was his name, right? Eddie? Extreme Deep Invader? From Stealth? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stealth. God, what was that chick's, uh, chick's name that, that played the female pilot? Jessica Biel? Yeah. Smoking hot. Oh, yeah. 
No, dude. Jessica Biel, if you're listening, what's up? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Jesus. If you're listening to this to this YouTube channel, um, why? <laughs> Never mind why. <laughs> Look at this cheeky bastard. Finally. All right. Also had uh, Jamie Foxx. And, yeah. Uh, uh, Josh Lucas is his name. The, uh, the, the, the lead, I guess. Mm -hmm. The white guy? The stealth plane? <laughs> no. I wonder who did the voice for the stealth plane. Though. I am fluent in over six million forms of Fox 2. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if he would have to address his missiles like that if he, if he were to do it. It's just, it's like literally just a, a sound clip that he just plays over and over again. Fox 2. I mean, I, I doubt he, well, he, he was, he's given commands by the general dude or whatever, so he doesn't have to announce what he does, right? But then he goes rogue, and then he doesn't care, so he can just, it doesn't matter. So there would never be any incentive for him to actually be on comms. Right, right. Yeah, which makes sense. Ew. Stealth, everybody, great movie. It is. I don't understand why it got a lot of shit in, like, reviews and stuff. Because, like, that's kind of what, like, kept me away from it, like, when, when it was in theaters. Because I'm an idiot. No, I thought it was, no, I thought it was rocking. Yeah. I mean, it's not a fucking masterpiece. It's just, it's good. It's cool. It's got Jessica Biel. Everybody likes Jessica Biel. You want to see Jessica Biel in a bikini? Go watch Stealth. Yeah. Forget that Chuck and Larry movie. Go fucking watch Stealth. She's in Chuck and Larry? Uh, yeah, the I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry movie. With uh, I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry? Is that really what it's called? Oh my god, I think it is. It's the one with Adam Sandler and Kevin James. And they're, they're, oh, okay. they're firefighters, but they have to pretend to be gay for reasons. Oh, okay. I, now I know what you're talking about. Jessica Biel's in that, in like, wet panties. I don't know. Alright. That's the... that's. So basically, the entire draw of the movie I could find in like a clip that's like thirty seconds long. Which everyone listening and watching this right now has already seen, <laughs> even if they haven't seen the movie. <laughs> it's got, it's uh, directed by the guy who did the first uh, Fast and the Furious. I forget his name. I think he's like German or something. Huh. But uh, it's a you know it's a decent flick. It's about. Um, uh, AI in planes. It's about drones. It's about drones before drones were drones. Seems to be the central theme of this thing. Yeah. So the comparisons to they, they, they just won't stop. And it came out like literally right before we we as America like unveiled the drone. Like the Predator drone thing. Yeah. But of course it doesn't look like that in the movie. It looks like a crazy futuristic plane. Right. And it gains sentience Sorry. and decides to kill everybody. That's the point of the movie. Yeah. Had some cool sci-fi ideas, like autonomous floating refueling stations. That was awesome. Yeah. And, like, he, like, takes a quick little sippy and then just fucking destroys the whole fucking yeah. thing. Goes up to refuel and then ignites it. Yeah. With his afterburners. Mm-hmm. Because he's a show-off. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. Yeah. Could they model that AI after? Josh Lucas. Oh. Oh, oh, that's actually in the... Luke Bryan. Luke, Luke Bryan. <laughs> no, I don't think his AI... No, his AI is based off the three pilots. And they're the three pilots. Ew. Just like in this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he takes those cocky traits. I forgot about that, so I'm kind of right in a drunken way. He does <laughs> do cocky things like Jamie Foxx did and like Josh Lucas did. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Now am I gonna land? Now you gotta land. You're right. <laughs> right? There we go. Take it on out. Take it on out. Take it on in. Drink it on out. Drink it on down. Drink it on up. Drink Is this just in. like a big middle finger to the Top Gun NES game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that ABGN <laughs> was, had such a hard time with and he like nailed it with the Power Glove. AVGN 
Um, I love him. Oh yeah, no, yeah. James Rolfe, he's great. Oh yeah. So uh, so is Mike. James, Mike, you guys rock. Hell yeah. Watch your stuff. Every chance I get. Oh, as soon as it comes out. Yeah, really. But you know, he's a busy, busy dude. Oh yeah. Doing busy things. Making another movie, maybe. I don't. I I think so. I really? Think he's trying to do something. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's cool. He's a big uh, horror movie uh, guy like me. I'd love to. Oh, totally. Especially um, as as made evident in that um, set that is the fake uh, video store, yeah. <laughs> which which I'm not even sure if it was started out as a set. I think that's legitimately like a room in his house. <laughs> and it's like, hey, this kind of looks like a, a hole in the wall Midwestern video rental store. <laughs> no, a haunted well, arcade. A haunted arcade with spooky ghosts. <laughs> All right. Well, um, this seems like a good stopping point for an episode. Um, so far, hard hard mode is seems I don't know tricky. I, I have to maneuver a lot and not get shot. Tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky to not get shot. Do not get shot in Ace Combat. It's, it's tricky. tricky, 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 tricky. You so, came here for XCOM, and you stayed for Ace Combat. Mm-hmm. Or you didn't. Or you didn't. <laughs> but you know, uh, there's poetry in that somewhere. And uh, when we come back, uh. More Ace Combat, unless the XCOM save file miraculously decides to unfuck itself, which it it may never. Do you hear that, Sony? <laughs> or whoever the <laughs> fuck made this game? God. The other game. The XCOM. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. When I said this game, I, you know, that's on me. I just edit this out. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say boop. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me that you... <laughs> Where's my clapboard? It's around here somewhere. All right. You know what? Let's just start over. All right. From the top. Mission one. Just... <laughs>